So, okay. It's Tuesday, November the 13th, 2012. It's 10 to 7. It's my reacclimatization day after Brussels 2012. Um, maybe getting a Christmas lunch in Wetherspoons. Which one? Not sure yet, but could be the Godfrey Morgan. Anyway, need to get back on the indigenous brews, so why not have some um, tiny rebel? Sarah Lane doing twit? That cannot be right. This week in fun? The thought. Anyway, crumb reduce ahead. Ah, right, okay, this is number one. And the Spoons Beer Festival finished on Sunday, which was the 11th. Um, but usually they have a couple left over. And they come all the way back from Europe. Europe. Um, and the first ale I get is a Hefeweizen. This is Hefeweizen here from the Bath Ale Company, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Slightly cloudy, as a wheat beer should be. There you are, Mr. Manning Carpet. Mm. Um, it tastes a bit like a wheat beer, but it's a bit indistinct. I really... I'm going to give it a B. Sorry. And number two, and this is my first ale from the Channel Islands. This is Liberation Rouge from the Liberation Brewery. Established 1871. 4.5% alcohol by volume. A bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. There's a touch of citrus in there. Very nice, B plus. When it's gone, it's gone. This is gone. This was going to be a pint, but that's what's left. So it was a half pint. And they gave me this lovely. Anyway, double Maxim, as you guess, by the Maxim Brewery. 4.7% alcohol by volume. I'm not altogether sure about that. It's a B plus, but I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I'll run with it. And on a rather grey day. Mm. Okay, much as I like Belgium, there's one thing that I miss. A pint glass. This is hot spirit by Redemption Brewing. At 4.5% alcohol by volume. No tiny rebel here today, which is a shame. Hello. That's an A minus. Solid, bitter, quality brew. They know the beers here.